Time to turn that frown upside down, cynics. Humanity ain't all bad. It's just like 80% bad. Hey everyone, Lacey Green here for DNews. We all have that cynical friend or family member, or maybe you're a cynic yourself. Cynical people tend to see other people as untrustworthy, they're skeptical and assume other people are only out for themselves. They're more likely to believe statements like, trust nobody, or most people will lie to get ahead. Hey, maybe there's some truth to those sentiments sometimes, but painting the whole world with that broad stroke can be a little depressing, or perhaps even more than depressing. A new study published in the Journal of the American Academy of Neurology found that elders with high levels of cynicism are 2.54 times more likely to develop dementia than those with low levels. The study included about 1,500 people, mostly around their 70s, and 164 of them had a high levels of cynicism. Psychologists look at cynicism like they look at chronic anger, chronic anger that's built up over many years, maybe over many bad experiences. The researchers say that their findings add to the growing body of evidence that our view on life translates into real health outcomes. Other studies have found similar results, too. A study at the University of Pittsburgh included 97,000 women and found the strong correlation between cynical women and cancer-related death. Cynical people have also been found to have higher rates of heart disease, smoke more, weigh more, and exercise less. What causes what is still being explored. So why is it that cynicism might affect someone's health? It's a super complicated question. You could get all kinds of philosophical about the connection between the mind and the body. Scientists believe that heart disease could be tied to dementia because it damages your blood vessels in your brain, but drawing the link between cynicism and dementia is a little bit trickier. The good news, and what's even more interesting to me, is that the research say cynicism is totally reversible. You can absolutely adopt a healthier attitude about other people and the world. But it kind of begs the question, to what extent are our personal feelings flexible? I know that for sure some days I'm just being a negative Nancy and I need to be a little bit more positive, but say you're a justified cynic. You've been screwed at every corner of your life. You're old, you're hurt, you're angry. Can you really just flip a switch and adopt an outlook that's completely at odds with your life experience? I don't know. It's definitely something to think about. Let me know what you think down below, and I'll catch you next time on DNews.